It's good to see you all guys, uh, you guys here. So I uh, hope you have a lot of fun tonight. I think that you'll, you'll enjoy it as we've had fun putting the songs together. So thanks for coming. Community Church, it's a joy to have you with us tonight. Uh, I'm Pastor Robert. It's it's my privilege to serve here as pastor, and um, welcome to what may be for some of you the only concert of 2020. Right? <laughs> um, we're, we're we're thrilled you came, and and we're thrilled you're here. And and what better concert to attend than one that celebrates Christmas and the birth of our Savior and Lord Jesus Christ? Um, I, I was I was thinking about this. Uh, Christmas songs are funny, right? I mean, Christmas is a uniquely Christian holiday. It's, it's the celebration of the incarnation of Jesus Christ, our Lord. And yet, there are so many secular songs. Why, why is that? Is, is that just because of uh, commercialism and people want to cash in? Is it because of sentimentalism? What, what, what's the reason behind it? I... I personally think, and this is my conspiracy theory, is I, hey, it's 2020, I get to have my conspiracy <laughs> theories, right? I, I, I think there are a lot of people out there who even though they don't profess Christ, recognize there, there's something real about his birth, something real about uh, a, the way in which his life changed everything. He, I mean, let's, let's face it, he's the way by which we gauge time. And, and so I think, um, I, I think there are a lot of Christ, Christmas carols and Christian songs out there that even though they don't, um, uh, they, they don't tap into the, some of the true meanings of Christmas, they still want to play, be part of the party, right? And so as a nod to them, these next three Christmas songs, these, these are not songs you've ever heard in church and probably never will again. 
Uh, but we hope you, you get to enjoy them. So um, we're going to start with uh, a real fun one. All right, so this was Chuck Berry's take on Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, and it's called Run, Run, Rudolph. Ready? Out of all the reindeer, you know you're the mastermind. Yeah, run, run, Rudolph, ran us not too far behind. Santa's got to make it to town Well, can't you make him hurt Tell him he can take the freeway down And away went Rudolph Oh, it's like a merry-go-round Well, Santa said to boy, child What you been longing for? He said, Santa, all I want Is a rock and roll electric guitar yeah, we went Rudolph, a whizzing like a shooting star. Well, run, run, Rudolph, Santa's got to make it to town. Well, can't you make him hurry, tell him he can take the freeway down. Yeah, run, run, Rudolph, man, it like a merry-go-round. I'm talking to you. Said the girl, child, what you been wanting to get? I want a baby doll that can cry, sleep, eat, and wear. Yeah, we went Rudolph, a whizzing like a saber jet. Well, run, run, Rudolph, Santa's got to make it to town. Well, can't you make a money tell him he can take the freeway down? Chuck Berry and Chuck Showalter right here on harmonica. <laughs> I know. So. Um, we have a special guest with us um, who's going to grace us with our presence. His presence, you, you haven't seen him for a while, but, but we really hope you enjoy his singing. 76? <laughs> oh, okay. All right. So this one's called Please Come Home for Christmas. Oh, See, I get so I get so excited about songs. So, uh, Brian. Stretch, I think. No? Okay. Well, okay. So um, we're actually going to wait with, uh, our, I guess our visitor isn't here yet. So um, we're going to do another song. Uh, please come home for Christmas. <laughs> All right. Bells will be ringing The sad, sad news Oh, what a Christmas 
Christmas To have the blue My baby's gone I have no friend To wish me greeting Once again Crowds will be singing Carol by candlelight. Please come home for Christmas. Please come home for Christmas. If not for Christmas, my New Year's night. Friends and relations send salutations. But this is Christmas Christmas, my dear The time of year To be with the ones you love So won't you tell me You'll never more roll Christmas and New Year We'll find you home no more sorrow, no grief, no pain, and I'll be happy, happy once again. No grief, no pain And I'll be happy Christmas once again Is he here? He, he's here? Okay, he's, he's here. So, um, he's here and he's coming. Guys. Uh, I'll have a blue Christmas without you. So blue, just thinking all about you. Decorations of red on a green Christmas tree. Won't, won't mean a thing, baby, if you're not here with me. Of blue snowflakes start falling. Oh, that's the wind of those blue, blue memories start falling. You'll be doing all right with your Christmas of white. Have a blue, 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 blue Christmas. You know, probably came up here tonight for a traditional Christmas. And I say, what's more traditional than Christmas with the king? You'll be doing all right with your Christmas of wine. Have a blue, 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 blue Christmas. Right on.
Thank you very much. Thank you. That was awesome. Boy, it looks like he's aged well and laid off those peanut butter and banana sandwiches, huh? <laughs> uh, so, so welcome to a very, very, very Canyon Christmas. We're, we're thrilled you're here. I, I want to introduce to you uh, a few members of the band. Well, I'll introduce some now and, and some later. First, Michael Gosher is doing lead vocals and guitar. Thank you, Michael. <laughs> the multi-talented Eddie Hill, who plays everything from bluegrass to rockabilly on Mando guitar. <laughs> the best harmonica player I know, Chuck Showalter. <laughs> No, I, I know several. And, uh, and Brad Fisher on just about every stringed instrument you've got tonight. So we're thrilled. We're thrilled they're here. We're, we're, we're transitioning now from songs that make people feel uncomfortable in church to, uh, to, to your more, to your more traditional, uh, some, some more traditional uh, Christmas faith-centered, Christ-based songs. And, and these next few songs, these next four, come from, a, from a, an album that Andrew Peterson did called Behold the Lamb of God. And, and we put that concert on here five, six, seven years ago now. And uh, some of these have become cherished traditions in, in the Jacobson household. And uh, we hope you enjoy these next songs. This, this first one's called It Came to Pass. You know, part of the Christmas story that, that most often gets overlooked is, is some of the very first verses in Matthew's gospel. So in, when you open the New Testament, first book of the New Testament's Matthew, the first verses of Matthew's gospel is a whole bunch of names that nobody can pronounce. 
So to help you with that and to not neglect that part of the Christmas story, I'm going to sing it. And the reason I'm singing it is because I'm the only one who knows how to pronounce the names. So this is, this is Matthew's begats, all right? Well, Abraham had Isaac, Isaac he had Jacob, Jacob he had Judah and his kin. Then Perez and Zerah came from Judah's woman Tamar, Perez he brought Hezron up and then came Aram, then Aminadab, then Noshin, who was then the dad of Salmon, who with Rahab fathered Boaz. Ruth, she married Boaz, who had Obed, who had Jesse. Jesse, he had David, who we know as king. Hey, David, he had Solomon by dead Uriah's wife. Solomon, well, you all know him. He had good old Rehoboam, followed by Abijah, who had Asa. Asa had Jehoshaphat, had Joram, had Uzziah, who had Jotham, then Ahaz and Hezekiah, followed by Manasseh, who was a man, who was a man, who was fathered of a good boy named Josiah, who grandfathered Jehoiakim, who caused the Babylonian captivity because he was a liar. Then he had Shealtiel, who begat Zerubbabel, who had Abiyad, who had Eliakim. Eliakim was had Zadak, who had Achim. Achim was the father of Elihu. Then he had Eliezer, who had Nathan, who had Jacob. Now listen very closely, I don't want to sing this twice. Jacob was the father of Joseph, the husband of Mary, the mother of Christ. So this next song may be my favorite song in the world, sung by my favorite person on the planet. So, hope you enjoy this. This is called Labor of Love. Joseph by her side 
Back in the 1600s in England, um, the only songs that people were allowed to sing in the Church of England at that time were from what's called the Psalter. The, the Psalter was essentially the book of Psalms set to music. But if any of you have read through the Psalms, you know, um, sometimes the Psalms don't always rhyme, and, and sometimes it can be really hard to sing. Uh, so I, I think it was Tate and Bradley who, in the 1700s, were updating the Psalter, they added a supplement to the Psalter. And this is one of the first songs that was ever sing, sung in the Church of England outside of the Psalms. It's a paraphrase of Luke chapter 2. Uh, it's, it's a song that's about 300 years old. It's called While Shepherds Watch. We've, um, the arrangement's a little different, but we hope you enjoy it. Watch their flocks by all seated on the ground. An angel of the Lord came down in glory shone around. Fear not, said he, for mighty dread had seized their troubled minds. Glad tidings of great joy I bring to you. And this shall be the sign The heavenly babe you there shall find To human you display All neatly wrapped in swaddling bands And in a manger laid Hallelujah! Hallelujah!
These next two songs were put out by, by Sovereign Grace Music about four or five years ago, I think, in, uh, in their album called Prepare Him Room. This first one is entitled Who Would Have Dreamed? And, and it, really, it really taps into one of the key themes of, of history and, and, and of creation, that, that God would take on human flesh, that the creator would enter into his creation as one of us. the rest of our band to you um, on bass who did an amazing job in that last song thank you very much Gracie Jacobson my my daughter woo, woo. Uh, my bride Amy Jacobson on vocals Raquel Hoffman who sang that beautifully thank you Raquel And a man who's probably worked harder on that piano piece than any other piano piece in his life, Luca, in the back on the, on the piano keyboard. It was really tough. It was really tough. Um, this, this next song's called He Who Is Mighty, and, and it's actually taken from Mary's Magnificat. 
and uh, it, it, these, these will be familiar words to you that I hope bless and encourage you tonight. To those who sit in death's shadow, the sun on high pierced the night, born was the cornerstone. Unto us a son is given, unto us a child. So this next song is probably the oldest song you're going to be hearing tonight. It's uh, each, it's old and ancient in both its texts and and also its um, its music. Each stanza concentrates on on a different name of of Jesus, Emmanuel, God with us. Christianity believes unequivocally that God actually took on human flesh and entered into our broken world to rescue and redeem to to triumph where Adam had failed. He's, he's the wisdom from on high. He's personification of wisdom itself. He's the desires of nations. All nations long and yearn for peace and, and justice. Um, especially in 2020. <laughs> Tolkien picked up on this theme in his trilogy, right? Nothing was right in Middle Earth until until the right heir of Gondor was on the throne. And he's the day spring from on high. He's, he's the new dawn, the hope what we have, the, the hope that we have, the one who brings new life and who brings light. Uh, Josie is going to be accompanying Raquel, and um, we hope this blesses you.
of hell thy people say and give them victory o'er the grave rejoice rejoice Emmanuel shall come to thee O Israel O come thou day spring come and cheer our spirits by thine advent here disperse the gloomy clouds Shall come to thee, O Israel. O come, desire of nations, bind all people in one heart and mind. Bid envy, strife, and quarrel cease. Fill the whole shall come to thee, O Israel. That was, uh, that was so great. This, this next song that we're going to be singing um, has a neat little history to it. Uh, it was originally written in, in the Alps when a church organ broke down just before Christmas Eve service. So uh, for me, if my, as a pastor, if all our instruments started failing right before Christmas Eve service, I'd, I'd kind of freak out. Uh, but, but the pastor there got together with the organist, and what they did is they came up with a new song that uh, could be played simply on guitar and easily sung. And, um, and the organ repairman came by later that week and heard it and liked it so much that he copied it and distributed it in mass, which is why uh, we all sing Silent Night. So we have a special little ensemble to share this, this wonderful tune with us. And it's my grandma's favorite song. <laughs>
We're flying through this. So um, we've got three more songs, I think. Just two? two. Really? Yeah. What about? Oh, okay. We got two. Um, this next song is, uh, out of all the traditional Christmas carols, um, this one's my, by far my favorite. It's, the, uh, it, it's my favorite because it's so theologically rich, and it's written by uh, a guy by the name of Charles Wesley. Charles Wesley was the brother of John Wesley. He wrote over... 6,000 hymns. Have you done 6,000 of anything <laughs> in your life? Right? And you'll find, yeah, maybe tweets. Um, but but if, if you look in your hymnal, you'll find in there still today uh, at least 16 or 17. I, I think ours might have 20. Um, so songs like, Oh, for a thousand tongues to sing, Come Thou Long Expected Jesus, and Can It Be? Uh, but right now, we're going to hear Hark the Herald Angels Sing. And you get to sing with us. So the hy there are hymnals in your pews. So this is number 238. If you want to grab a hymnal, you can join us. Christmas. If you can come back, we will be here on Christmas Eve. Our service is at 6 p.m., and we promise we will have you out of here by 7. So if you think we're going to be late for dinner, don't worry, you won't be. We promise we will be out of here by 7. And let's sing together joy to the world. Just before we, um, just before we stop, I need to thank one more person who um, I used to be a sound guy. And nobody notices a sound guy unless things go really bad. So I, I just want to thank Brian for all his hard work. Brian! Hey, Brian! Making people like me sound good, getting the live stream up, so much. So, so thanks so much, Brian, for, for all your help. All right, let's, uh, let's close by, by singing together Joy to the World. Um, again, it's in your hymnals if, if you don't know it, but we, we welcome you to sing, you know. Uh, throughout the Bible, singing is presented as, as warfare against the forces of darkness. And if there's, there's a, a year in which we need to sing against the forces of darkness, it's this year. So join with us in singing Joy of the World. Mm -hmm. 
And this song is also a song of anticipation. Not only Jesus' first coming, but his coming again. His continual advancement of his kingdom. He's building his church. Gates of Hades will not stand against it. So he's moving, and we want to be in there with him. So joy. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive her King. Let every heart prepare Him room. And heaven and nature sing, and heaven and nature sing, and heaven and nature sing. Joy to the world, the Savior reigns. Joy to the world. Uh -huh. 